Hi, beautiful friends. It's Lori here from Lemon Yoga, and welcome back to another prenatal yoga flow with me. Today, I am taking those of you in the first, second, and third trimester through a full body prenatal stretch routine that you can do any time of day to get rid of those common pregnancy aches or pains. This is your daily prenatal stretch routine, so make sure you come back to this flow. Give this video a quick thumbs up, hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family, and then come and meet me on your mat. Let's begin in a cross legged, comfortable seated position and begin to tune into the breath. Taking a big breath in and out. And then from there, we'll begin to move into the neck, rolling our chin to chest and gently swinging the head from side to side as we begin to stretch and release through the neck and through the shoulders. Just breathing deeply as you do this. And then let the head rest over to the left hand side, left hand to the side of the head. Let the right hand flex and press away to increase the stretch through the right side of the neck. Keep sitting tall, breathing deeply, and then begin to lean into that right hand, stretch through the left side of the body, reaching the left arm up and over. Breathe space into the side of your bum. Exhale to release, dropping the head now all the way over to the right hand side, right hand up and over, gently holding on, the left hand pressing, flexing away, breathe deeply, all the way through the side of the body, let the sit bones melt. And then begin to lean down into the left palm, stretch and open through the right side of the body. Reach that right arm away. Big breaths in and out. And then we'll release back through center. Torso circles to release through the spine. Begin to roll the body all the way forwards, all the way backwards. This should feel really nice in the back of the body. We'll breathe deeply as we move and change direction now, beginning to go the other way. Releasing, relaxing, getting rid of any clicks, any stiffness. And then make your way back through center, sit tall, inhale, lift the heart space, open the arms to cactus. Exhale, round spine, draw the arms together. Inhale, lift and open. Exhale to round. Good, keep that coming. This is really great for the spine. Again, keeping our backs nice and mobile, getting rid of that stiffness. That's it, keep breathing. And then we'll release there, move back through center, take that left leg out long, keep the right leg in, and let's draw some circles again. This time you'll feel the stretch in the hips and the inner thigh on that left leg. Breathe deeply as you have a good wiggle here, and go the other way whenever you're ready. All right, find some stillness in the middle. Let's take a side stretch, reaching the right arm all the way up and over. The left hand is connected to the left leg. Breathing space through the side of your bump. You can always drop that right arm down and behind you if it feels a little heavy to have it up in the air. That's it. Keep breathing, keep melting, relaxing, letting go. Sweep the right arm up and over again if you dropped it down and then release back through centre. The left leg in, the right leg going out long, adjust those sit bones, sit tall and start to draw circles, rolling the body all the way forwards and all the way backwards. Just stay with the breath as you move.
Keep drawing those circles. And then find center as we reach the left arm up and over, right hand down on the leg. Breathing space all the way through the left side of the body, through the left side of your bump. Melt your sit bones, breathe. Maybe dropping that top arm, the left arm behind you to the opposite hip. Just taking some of the weight out. Keep breathing, melting, letting go. And then we'll start to reach that left arm all the way up and over and release back through center. Sliding the soles of the feet together, the knees falling wide into Baddha Konasana. Sit nice and tall and then as you exhale, take a gentle fold down towards the ground. You don't need to go very far. And you should feel a nice stretch through the hips, the inner thigh, the pelvis, the groin. Let yourself really relax here, the whole body melting into the pose. And we'll unravel there, drawing the knees in, come on round, onto all fours. Set yourself up for a low lunge, grabbing a block or a cushion or a big stack of books and step your left foot through and then begin to gently pulse those hips forwards and backwards opening into the pelvis the inner thigh the groin and this stretch targets through the hip flexor so we'll be stretching through the right hip flexor here eyes can look forwards keep lengthening through the spine and then take those hips backwards, lengthen out through the back of the left leg, taking a hamstring stretch, gently tilting forwards, keeping that length through the spine here as much as you can. Breathe deeply. <sighs> Breathing all of that space into the back of the leg. And then we'll roll the body forwards to release, taking that left foot back, swap sides with your block or your cushions that you're leaning on, step the right foot through into your low lunge and begin to gently pulse those hips forwards and backwards. Just moving really gently, really mindfully, gently opening into the left hip flexor now. Now we'll shift the hips backwards as we lengthen through the back of the right leg and gently tilt the body forwards. Breathing deeply, finding that length, finding that space. Big breath in and out. Roll yourself forward to release. We're going to step both feet in now into a forward fold. Have those feet as wide as you need them. And then lift and lengthen into a flat back. Lengthening through the spine, lengthening through the backs of the legs. This is a really nice stretch for the back. Breathe. And then release, come all the way back down to the ground, down to the mat. Take a comfortable cross-legged position. Let's take a moment to relax and breathe. Bring one hand onto baby. Just take a moment for the whole body to soften here. Relaxing through the face, the shoulders, the belly, the sit bones. And you can take as long as you need here by pressing pause on the video now. I want to take a moment to say thank you so much for joining me for today's prenatal yoga flow. I really hope you enjoyed these 10 minute prenatal stretches. If you did, be sure to leave me a comment and let me know. And of course, hit subscribe to join the Lemon Yoga family. I would absolutely love to have you here. When you're ready, move gently with the rest of your day. Take care. Bye guys. <laughs>